This is the Fenscope multi-tool. Um, it comes with the Fenscope itself, 1000 ohm additional load. There's a 1000 ohm load built into the unit and um, it's got leads and crocodile clips. Okay, we're gonna talk about the first of four modes. Uh, the first uh, mode will be probe mode. On this mode, we can, um, we'll use the top of the fence scope that's in probe mode and we'll place it onto the live wire and we can take a reading. I can freeze that reading by pressing the center button. So this energizer over here, which is a two joule energizer, is currently pulsing at 1.54 seconds at seven kilovolts and there's a current flowing if you notice over here, this is the um, this is the hot wire or the live wire, and there's a one amp current flow. This is a clean fence. I'm going to introduce a a small fault. So to do that for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put the thousand ohm load that comes in the kit, so I can demonstrate a fault on your on your uh, fence by adding this fault. So I've just put it onto the um, earth wire over here. Okay, let me try and hold it properly. All right, so now. If with an earth with a fault of a thousand ohms, we should see an increase in our current. Waiting for the impulse. There we go. You'll notice that the energizer now is pushing 7,4 kilovolts and it's trying to increase that voltage because it's detected a load. The current that is flowing now is 13,5 amps. This tells me that there's a load on the fence. So if you if you use this mode, you can slowly um, approach the fault. Once you go past the fault, you, your amps will, will drop. So this is an excellent tool for finding faults on a fence. Um, the second mode of operation is the energy mode, which is first is the probe mode. And then if you right arrow, you go to energy mode. That's the second mode. Um, this mode is quite unique in the sense that you can actually simulate um, for example, an animal on your fence. So if you've got a one kilometer fence um, with probe mode, you can see what the voltage is, but with this mode, you can actually simulate an animal on your fence. So there's a thousand ohm load inside the unit. For this mode, we will use the red and black terminals at the bottom, not the top one, which we use for, for um, probe mode. So we'll use the black and the red it doesn't matter, polarity, polarity doesn't matter in this case, even though the, the, the cables are color coded. We'll press the center button. And what we are simulating now is we are simulating an animal touching the fence, a thousand ohm load. And at that point on the fence, anywhere on the fence, I'll freeze the frame so we can read it um, better. We are putting in 1.3 joules into the animal or the load and at 7.9 kilovolts, which is an excellent voltage to give an animal um, a decent uh, shock so it can move away from the fence. The third function, first is probe, second is energy, and the third function is scope. To go into this mode, once again, we press the center button and it'll pick up the pulse on the fence. Now you'll notice the pulse is very small, so we can zoom in and with the voltage and the time frame. So you'll just need to figure out which of the settings works for you. The top and bottom are for voltage zoom in and the bottom and the two left and right are for time. So now I've zoomed in quite a bit more. As you can see the same pulse, we can see it a bit larger. What this is showing us is the, the, the wave shape from the energizer. Where this mode can help us is if you have arcing on the fence. I'm gonna try simulate an arc on the fence You'll see how the pulse changes in with an arc. That kind of that kind of pulse shows you that there is a, a arc on your fence, um, and it helps you with diagnostics and fault finding. Um, the fourth function: first you have probe, second you have energy, third you have the scope mode. I need to press a few times to get past the scope mode. The last one is a noise function. Now this is this noise function picks up um, RF noise gen generally generated by arcing on your fence or bad insulators. So you'll notice that it's got a, a value here of 1400. 
basically this value we add up all the different um, noise levels and we give you a just a, a, a simple value um, to show you the amount of noise on your fence now this fence here has a value of 1400 if I do increase the amount of noise by increasing the the, the um, amount of arcing on the fence which okay you'll see that this value goes up quite dramatically and you can see that the noise the the noise um, shape goes right across the spectrum into the higher frequencies if the fence is clear a good clean fence would tend to look like this where you have your lower um, frequencies would be pretty busy but the higher frequencies with an arc will generate a higher value here and across the spectrum Thank you.